Hello friends, welcome to my new data structures and algorithm in Java tutorial series video. Friends, in this tutorial, we will discuss how to remove duplicates from sorted linked list in Java. So suppose we are given a sorted linked list. So if you see, then the linked list has 5 nodes, having the data as 1, 1, 2, 3, 3. So this is a sorted linked list, but you can see that there are duplicates into it. So you can see one is duplicate and the three is duplicate. So in this tutorial we will discuss how to remove these duplicates from the sorted linked list. And if you see the output, then the output would be like one, two, three and all the duplicates will be removed. So let's move ahead and see the demo of the algorithm. So here if you see we are given with the linked list which is sorted and having nodes as one, one, two, three, three. And this is the algorithm which will remove the duplicates from this sorted linked list. So let's see working of this algorithm. So in order to remove the duplicates from this sorted linked list, first we'll do, we'll create a list node which will point to the head. Moving ahead. So the basic idea behind this algorithm is we will traverse the linked list through this current pointer and we'll check whether this data of this current node is equal to data of its next node and if they are equal it means we have encountered a duplicate and we will write the logic to remove that duplicate node so here if you see we will iterate this completely based on this condition so the condition would be the current should not be null and current dot next should not be null so here if suppose the current node reaches this last node so current dot next will be null it means there is no more nodes to traverse therefore this condition is required so let's see how this algorithm works so first this condition will be checked that whether current is equal to null or not so current is not equal to null because it is pointing to the first node and current dot next should not be null so current dot next is also not null because it is pointing to the second node therefore this while loop condition comes out to be true and it will encounter a if statement and here we will check whether current node data is equal to current next data current data is 1 and current next data is also 1 therefore they are equal so this if statement condition comes out to be true and we have encountered a duplicate so here if log will be executed and in order to remove this duplicate what we will do we will assign current next next to the current next so here if you see current next points to the second node so we have to remove the second node therefore we have to break this point and we have to assign it to the second node so this is the statement for it we will assign current next next to current next so it would be something like this so now current next points to current next next and as this node has no reference therefore this would be garbage collected so moving ahead so now again the condition in while loop will be evaluated so here current is not null and current next is also not null therefore the condition in while loop comes out to be true and while loop will be executed so now we'll check whether current data is equal to current next data so current data is 1 and current next data is 2 so they are not equal therefore the if block condition comes out to be false and the else will be executed so it means that both the nodes like current and current next are different nodes and they are not duplicate therefore will simply traverse the current to its next node And now once again the while loop condition will be evaluated. So current is not null and current next is also not null. Therefore the while loop will be executed. And now we'll check whether current data is equal to current next data. So current data is 2 and current next data is 3. So they are not equal. 
so it means that data into both the nodes are different so else condition will be executed and we will assign current next to current so we will simply traverse the current to its next node so now once again the while loop condition will be evaluated and here you can see current is not null and current next is also not null therefore the while loop condition comes out to be true and now it will be evaluated whether current data is equal to current next data so current data is 3 and current next data is also 3 so they are equal it means that we have encountered a duplicate here and we have to now remove this node having the value as 3 therefore in order to remove this node we have to first break this pointer and we have to assign this pointer to current next next so current points to 3 and its next points to 3 and its next points to null therefore we'll assign current next next to current next so it would be something like we'll remove this pointer and we'll assign current next to current next next which is null and as this node has no reference to it therefore this would be garbage collected and now once again the while loop condition will be evaluated so current is not null but current dot next is null so if you see current next points to null therefore this while loop condition comes out to be false and it makes sense because we don't have any more node to traverse therefore the while loop condition breaks out and if you see then we have removed the duplicates from the sorted link list so head points to 1, 1 points to 2 and 2 points to 3 and 3 points to null so the output would be something like this so friends this was the demo of the algorithm now let's go to Eclipse and see the working of the code so friends in my previous tutorials I have created a class by name singly link list so in this class we have this instance variable which holds the head of the link list and it is private inner class list node which will be holding the nodes in the singly link list and if you want to see the working of this code then you can watch my previous tutorials so here we have simply created a singly link list and we have inserted few nodes having the data as 1 1 2 3 3 and if I run this class so it will print the link list as 1 1 2 3 3 so this is the singly link list which we saw in our slide and it has duplicate as 1 and 3 so let's write the code to remove this duplicate from sorted link list will give return type as void remove duplicates so this is the method where we will write the code to remove the duplicates from sorted link list so first we will provide if conditions say if head is null then simply return from this method and next we will code the algorithm which we saw in the slide so we will create a list node by name current and we will assign the value head to it then we will create a while loop and we will provide the condition as current not equal to null and current dot next not equal to null and inside this while loop will provide if block as if current data is equal to current dot next dot data so this is the condition to check whether adjacent nodes are duplicates or not so if they are duplicate then we will simply remove the duplicate node by current dot next and we will assign the value to it as current 
dot next dot next and we'll provide a else block as so suppose the adjacent nodes are not same then we'll simply iterate current to its next position by assigning current's next value to current so friends this is the code to remove the duplicates from sorted singly linked list now in the main method i will simply call the remove duplicates and let's again print the linked list so if i run the code now so here you can see initially the linked list was 1 1 and after removing the duplicates it became 1 2 3 so friend this was the code to remove the duplicates from sorted linked list i hope you like this video please like comment share and subscribe my youtube channel thanks have a nice day